Hey guys, in the fast lane here. In this video, I'm going to be replacing sway bar bushings on this 06 Chevy Trailblazer. If you guys need to purchase this part, there will be a link underneath the YouTube video. If you're on my website, you can click shop this video underneath the video. If you're on the desktop version, you can actually click shop this video in the YouTube video. What you want to do is get yourself a digital caliper and we're going to put it right over the sway bar and clamp down so we can find out what size this bushing is. So go ahead and get it like this. Get it tight. Pull it off. And we're looking at 1.36, give or take. If I got a little tighter, it's actually going to be a 1.34. For this vehicle, we're going to be using a 1.34. They also have a 1.4 something. So just make sure you get the right size before you do this job. We got two 15s. We got a 15 right up in the back side. And you got a 15 right here. Just get yourself a long 3 8 extension. And we're going to take both sides off. There's 115 and 2. Now we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Now that's it. It released a little bit of tension. You don't got to worry about falling down or hitting you in the face or anything like that. Next step, you just come up here and you're just going to pull down on this piece right here. There we go. And we got to say this is part of the vehicle and the bushing opens up. So go ahead and pull the bushing out just like that and we're going to replace it. Now before you put the bushing back on, go ahead and get some grease, just multi-purpose grease, something like this. And go ahead and dab it on the front, top bottom just get it all around there this will prevent future squeaks down the road and do the same thing to the bushing so just take your bushing and go ahead and run some grease on the inside now that your bushing is all greased up we're gonna take the cut part of it and we're gonna face that towards the back it really doesn't matter which way you face it but I'm just going to face it that way. That's the way it was. And now we got to open it up. Now make sure the top flat part is facing up. So we got to get it on there. And what you could do is space it out a little. Go at an angle. And it's going to be a little difficult. There we go. Slide it on. Slide it forward. And I'm just going to go ahead and clean this bracket real quick. The inside. Gone ahead and cleaned up this bracket. We're going to have to pull this bushing back a little bit. Go ahead and get under it with this bracket. Pull it back as far as you need. Slide it like that and slide the whole unit forward. Just like that. Get it into position and leave it like that. Don't tighten it up because we still have to do the other side. If you tighten it up, you won't be able to get the other bushing out. My life. But when I lose my guard, they really start to grow on me. In the end, I'm just passing through whatever this place is. Okay, we got both of them in. Now we just put the 15s in. A piece of both sides up once you've got both sides half tightened and that's it